Hey everyone. So our class today is going to be focused on stress relief, creating some conditions to calm the body and the mind. And this vinyasa style of yoga is well situated for this purpose because we focus on deep, slow breathing. We focus on rhythmic movements in the body that are combined with the breath in a specific way. And for this class, we'll also focus on physical grounding. So contact of the hands and the feet with the ground, just using those physical sensations and the breath to give the mind something to focus on and create some conditions for ease and tension release in the body. So this will be appropriate for people of all yoga levels of experience. If you have a block, that's great. If not, um, it won't be a problem. So let's get started on hands and knees. So take a minute to line up your wrists right under your shoulders and your knees under your fit under your hips. Spread the fingers nice and wide and transfer some of the weight out of the heel of the hand towards the fingers. And moving through some cat and cow stretches with the breath. So as you inhale, tilt your pelvis so that your tailbone lifts up, your belly relaxes down, and your chest draws through the upper arms and you lift the gaze at the top of that inhale. As you exhale, tilt the pelvis in the other direction so the tailbone points down, lower belly draws in and up. Press up between the shoulder blades and let the head relax down. All right, so nice slow breaths. Inhale, tailbone up, belly relaxes down, chest draws forward between the upper arms. And exhale, tailbone tucks, lower belly draws up, press up between the shoulder blades and the head drops down. So getting as much movement in the spine as we can, lower back, mid back, up back, and exhaling, again, rounding the lower back, middle back, upper back, head and neck relax last. So a few more times like that, inhale, nice and slow, arching the back, lifting the gaze at the top, and exhale to round. Right, let's try to bring a, a count to this breath. So four count in as you inhale, and as you exhale. Inhale to arch the back, two, three, and four, and exhale to round, two, three, and four. One more time like that, inhaling to arch, two, three, and four, and exhaling to round, two, three, and four. Shift the hips back to the heels, big toes touch behind, knees can be together or apart, Take a child's pose, extend the arms forward, keep the elbows lifted. If, if you can, relax the forehead down to the mat. If not, um, you can bring it down to a block if you have one. And feel the contact of your fingers, of your shins, of your forehead with the ground. And start to feel your breath expanding in the rib cage as you inhale. So front, back, and side ribs all expand, belly relaxes on the inhale. And as you exhale, there's a gentle drawing in feeling towards your center. Belly draws back towards the spine. Two more breaths like that. Inhale, filling the rib cage, letting the ribs move on the inhale and relaxing the belly. And on the exhale, ribs draw in, belly draws back. Rock back up to all fours. Again, line up wrists under shoulders and knees under hips. And we'll do some thread the needle stretches, um, combining breath and movement. So we're not gonna land it and stay as we often do. All right, so on an inhale, extend the right arm out to the side and up. Move from the rib cage though. Keep the hips still. And as you exhale, thread that right arm behind the left. Again, don't land it, just stretch the right arm through as far as it'll go and look to the left. 
Inhale, open up to the right. The whole chest rotates up and the gaze lifts. And exhale, thread the arm through. And one more time, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale back to all fours. Same thing on the other side. As you inhale, extend the left arm out to the side and up, keeping the hips still and rotating from the rib cage area. And as you exhale, left arm threads behind the right, stretch it through, bring your gaze over to the right fingers. Inhale, unwind, open to the left. And exhale to thread. And one more time, inhaling. And exhaling. Come back to all fours. Tuck the toes under. Sit back on the heels. <laughs> see if you can get see if you can get all ten toes tucked under. And you can modulate the amount of pressure that you're putting back on the heels. Now bring your arms out to a T. Stretch them nice and wide. And bring your fingertips to the tops of your shoulders. Elbows are at shoulder height. And again, moving and breathing. As you inhale, widen your elbows. Press them towards the wall behind you. Shoulder blades coming closer together on the back. And as you exhale, elbows touch in the front. Get a little more space between the shoulder blades. A little rounded in the upper back. Inhale, widen the elbows. And exhale, close them. And inhale, getting broad across the chest, shoulder blades squeezing on the back, and exhale. One more time, inhaling to widen, and exhaling, elbows touch in the front. Come back to your starting point, release the arms down, come back to all fours. You can untuck the toes, tap them. All right, so a little toe release, maybe a little wrist release here too. So walk the fingers out to the sides and then keep walking them back so your fingers are now pointing towards your knees. Okay, shift your shoulders and hips back. Take a deep breath here. See if you can keep the breath slow and smooth even as you're experiencing what is probably a little discomfort, not verging on pain, but uncomfortable stretch in the wrists. Come back to your starting point, walk the fingers forward. And tuck the toes under, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Alright, so hands are at shoulder distance, feet are at hip distance, All right, middle fingers facing forward. Pressing a little bit more weight into the fingers rather than the, bait, the heel of the hand. Biceps spinning up towards the ceiling. Head relaxing down between the upper arms. Heels pressing down. Sitting bones lift. All right, feel the contact of the hands and the feet with the ground. And then bring your attention to your breath. And as we inhale, allow the rib cage to move and expand side to side, front to back. And as you exhale, ribs draw in towards your center, belly draws up and back towards the spine. Another time like that, inhale, ribs expand, belly relaxes. All right, none of this is forced. It's a little slower and deeper than your everyday breathing, but not forced gentle and fluid, All right? And as you exhale, there's a drawing in of the ribs, drawing in and up of the belly. All right, keep that going and add to it a little restriction in the back of the throat, All right? So deep breathing combined with this little whispery sound, it's what we call ujjayi breath technique. All right, definitely one of the keys for setting the conditions for calm in the body and the mind. And one more breath here. Inhale, ribs expand, a little whisper on the inhale. 
Exhale, ribs draw in, belly draws in, a little whispery sound in the back of the throat on the exhale. All right, inhale down to hands and knees. Step the right foot between the hands. Keep the back toes tucked under. Bring the hands to the upraised thigh. All right, lift the pelvis upright by dropping the tailbone down and lifting the hip bones up, lower belly draws in. And we've got strong contact with the floor and a feeling of dragging the front foot and the back knee towards each other. All right, lift the arms up by the ears and then drop them down so that they make a cactus arm formation, pressing the forearms back, lifting the chest. Deep inhale here. As you exhale, release the hands down around the front foot, lift the back knee, keep the left hand down and sweep the right arm out to the side and up. And again, moving from the rib cage, so it's not just the arm lifting, but the whole chest opening to the right. Inhale here. And exhale, right hand down, step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, down to hands and knees, step the left foot between the hands. Come up to the upraised thigh. Again, tailbone drops down, hip bones lift up, lower belly in. So we've got stability here. Stability from the floor, acting like we could drag the front foot and the back knee towards each other. Arms lift up, drop down to cactus arms. Forearms press back, chest lifts. Deep inhale here. Exhale, hands down around the front foot. Lift the back knee and sweep the left arm out to the side and up. Take one more inhale. Exhale, left hand down, step back to down dog. All right, so moving through that a couple more times on each side with the breath. All right, so as you inhale, come down to hands and knees. This time, arch the back into that cow position, drawing the chest forward between the upper arms. As you exhale, step the right foot between the hands, bring the arms up by the ears. Inhale, cactus arms, lifting the chest. Exhale, hands down around the front foot, lift the back knee. As you inhale, twist open to the right, right arm lifts. Exhale, right hand down, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, down to hands and knees, arching the back, cow pose. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands, lift the torso, lift the arms. Inhale, cactus arms, lifting the chest. Exhale, hands down, lift the back knee. Inhale, twist open to the left. Exhale, step back to downward facing dog. All right, let's do that a couple more times on each side. Inhale, down the hands and knees, arching the back. Exhale, right foot steps between the hands. Lift the torso, lift the arms. Inhale, cactus arms, lifting the chest. Maybe the gaze lifts. Exhale, hands down, lift the back knee. Plant the left hand. Inhale, twist open to the right. Whole rib cage rotates to the right. Right arm lifts. Maybe the gaze lifts to the thumb too. Exhale, hand down. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, down the hands and knees. Chest moves forward between the upper arms. Cow pose. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands. Lift the torso, lift the arms. Inhale, cactus arms, lift the chest. Exhale, hands down around the front foot, lift the back knee. Inhale, left arm up, twist to the left. And exhale, back down, downward facing dog. All right, one more time each side. Inhale, hands and knees, arching the back. Exhale, right foot between the hands, lift the torso, lift the arms. Inhale, cactus arms, lifting the chest. Exhale, hands down, lift the back knee. Inhale, twisting open to the right. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, down to hands and knees, arching the back. 
Exhale, left foot between the hands. Lift the torso, lift the arms by the ears. Inhale, cactus arms, lift in the chest. Exhale, hands down, lift the back knee. Inhale, one more time, twisting open to the left. And exhale, plant the hand back to downward facing dog. Feel the hands, feel the feet. Relax the head and neck. Soft gaze between the knees. Take two breaths. Inhale, expansive ribs, relaxed belly. Exhale, everything draws in towards the center in a soft, gentle way. One more time, inhaling. And exhaling. Inhale, down the hands and knees. You might walk the knees back a little bit and untuck the toes. And then shift the hips and shoulders forward. So you're coming into a knees down plank pose. Right? You want to feel uh, the tailbone heavy, the lower belly drawing in and up. So you've got an engaged belly. Straighten the arms and press into the floor. Draw the upper arms towards each other and broaden across the chest, like the tops of the shoulders moving back. All right. Inhale here, head and neck in line with the rest of the spine. As you exhale, bend the elbows straight back. Keep the tops of the shoulders lifted as you lower down just halfway. So this is a knees down chaturanga push-up. Inhale, push back up. And exhale, sink your hips back to your heels. Touch your forehead down, child's pose. Feel that contact with the ground. Inhale, roll up and shift forward. Knees down, plank pose, tailbone heavy, belly engaged, chest broad. Exhale, bend the elbows straight back, lowering down halfway. Inhale, push back up and exhale, child's pose. Just touching down briefly. Inhale, one more time. Rolling up to all fours and shifting forward, tailbone heavy, belly engaged, broad across the chest. This time as you exhale, we're lowering down all the way to the mat. Keep the chest lifted, the tops of the shoulders lifted as long as you can as you come down. Bring your fingertips off the mat to the sides with your fingers tented up. All right, on an inhale, Press into the fingers to lift the head and chest. All right, draw the tops of the shoulders back. And as you exhale, lower the forehead to the mat. A few more times like that. Inhale, lift the head and chest, press into the fingers, wiggle the, the ribs away from the hips. And exhale, lower. Inhale to lift. And exhale to lower. One more time, inhale, lift the head and chest. This time, bring your gaze over the right shoulder and bring it center. Bring your gaze over the left shoulder and bring it back to center and relax the torso down. Bring your hands alongside the ribs, press up to all fours, tip the toes, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, down to hands and knees. Step the right foot between the hands, keeping the back toes tucked under. Lift the torso, all right, same actions. Bring the pelvis into a, a neutral position by drawing the hip bones up slightly, tailbone down, lower belly draws in slightly. All right, front foot and back knee drag towards each other. This time interlace the hands at the base of the spine, draw the elbows towards each other, shoulder blades squeeze, chest broadens, and that interlace fist draws down towards the floor. All right, press into the back foot, lift the back knee. So that back leg is coming towards straight, it might not be all the way straight, you wanna keep the pelvis in that neutral position. All right, inhale, work the back leg towards straight. 
And as you exhale, hover the back knee a couple inches off the mat. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, bend. And inhale, straighten. And exhale to bend. One more time, inhaling to straighten. And exhale, release the hands down around the front foot. Step back, downward facing dog. One breath here, deep inhale. Letting the ribs move as much as possible on the inhale without forcing and exhale, drawing everything in towards your center. Inhale, lower down to hands and knees. Step the left foot between the hands. Keep the back toes tucked under. Lift the torso, tailbone down, hip bones up, lower belly in. Front foot and back knee drag towards each other. All right, so everything close to the floor, really stable and strong. All right, interlace the hands, the base of the spine, shoulder blades draw together, interlaced fist draws down. Press into the back foot, lift the back knee, working that leg towards straight. Here's our inhale. All right, combining breath and movement. Exhale, lower the back knee to hover. Inhale to straighten. And exhale to hover. Inhale to straighten. And exhale to lower. One more time, inhaling. And this time as you exhale, release the hands down or on the front foot, step back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale down the hands and knees, but your, your distance between your hands and your knees is a little longer, all right? Untuck the toes, shift hips and shoulders forward, steering these knees down plank pose. Make sure that you've got engaged belly, heavy tailbone, and broad across the chest. Inhale here. Exhale, elbows bend straight back, so lowering down halfway, keeping the tops of the shoulders lifted the whole time. Inhale, press back up. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, rolling up and shifting forward. Exhale, lower down halfway. Inhale, push back up. And exhale, child's. One more time, inhale, rounding up, shifting forward. Knees down, plank pose. This time, as you exhale, we're coming all the way down to the mat. Bring your fingertips off the mat to the sides. Press into those fingertips to lift the head and chest. Wiggle the ribs away from the hips and draw the tops of the shoulders back and down away from the ears. Inhale here. And exhale, roll back down, forehead touches down. All right, keep the tops of the feet solidly down the whole time. Inhale, lift the head and chest. And exhale to lower. One more time, inhaling to lift. And exhaling to lower. Inhale, press into the fingertips, lift the head and chest. It's time to take a peek over the right shoulder. Come back to center. Take a peek over the left shoulder and come back to center. Roll your way down. Bring the hands alongside the ribs. Press up to all fours. Tuck the toes under. Lift the hips. Downward facing dog. And here's our home base. A time to feel the hands and feet on the ground. And a time to find that ujjayi breath. Very slow, deep, steady, and unforced. Two breaths. All right, using the sensation of the breath and also the sound of the breath to bring the mind back to what's happening right now.
Next inhale, step the right foot between the hands. Spin the back heel down. So you've got either front arch lined up with the back heel or arch. If you've got a block, you can bring it to the inside of the front foot. Put that hand on the block or it could be on the floor uh, for a side angle variation. All right, front arm and knee making contact. Left arm sweeps up towards the ceiling. So the whole torso is opening to the left and that right hip is drawing back and under. All right, big circles with that top arm sweeping back and down and across the face. And right, going three times in that direction. Next time your arm sweeps up towards the ceiling, reverse the direction and go three times in the other direction. Your arm extends straight up, flip the palm so it's facing behind you and then glide the back of the hand along the lower back. It can stay right there, or maybe the fingers tuck around to the front hip crease. Either way, the left shoulder blade is drawing onto the back. Chest opening even more, head in line with the rest of the spine, and the gaze can be wherever it's comfortable, down to the side or working its way up. Right, press into the inner and outer edges of both feet evenly. And take a deep breath. Release that left arm towards the ceiling. Bring the hand and the block to the outer edge of that front foot. And we'll move here between here and triangle pose with the breath. So as you inhale, work the front leg towards straight, that right hip drawing back. And exhale to bend into the front knee. Inhale to straighten. And exhale to bend. One more time, inhale to straighten. This time we'll stay, so the hand can stay on the block or maybe on the shin. Contact feet with ground. Engage the muscles of the legs and lengthen both sides of the torso. Right. Stability in the feet and legs offers a chance for expansion through the arms, through the crown of the head, and expansion through the rib cage as we breathe. One more deep breath in and out. Release the top hand down and walk yourself around to the left side of the mat, bringing the feet parallel. So, Wide-legged forward fold stance, toes are in line, heels are actually a little wider than the feet. Left hand or fingertips down underneath the face. Keeping the hips still and the spine long. On an inhale, sweep the right arm out to the side and up, but make this twist come from the rib cage area as you open up to the right. And exhale, release the right hand down. Inhale, twist to the left. Maybe the gaze follows the hand and exhale, release. Inhale, twist right and exhale. Inhale, twist left and exhale. This time stay in the center. Walk your hands back for wide legged forward fold. All right, hands could be on the block here, or if they come all the way down to the mat, keep walking them back. Let your torso, let your head and neck relax. Draw the tops of the shoulders up away from the floor. Shift your hips so they're over the ankles. All right, take two deep breaths here. All right, legs and feet firm and engaged. Upper body completely soft. See if you can relax all the muscles of your face and jaw. Lift up halfway. Right, walk yourself around to the front of the mat, spinning toes to face forward. Bring both hands inside the front foot. Wiggle the right foot off to the right. Lower the back knee. Right, 
allow yourself to roll to the outer edge of the front foot and let that knee open. All right, hips shift forward and down. You can stay right here, or maybe it would feel good to lower your forearms to a block or to the floor. Keep the breath slow and unrushed, unforced. Imagine that your breath could travel down to the hips. Come back up to the palms of the hands, come back onto the sole of the right foot, and now draw the right knee and upper arm in towards each other, create a little resistance there. Tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee, press out through the back heel. So a different version of lizard lunge. Draw the chest forward between the upper arms, lengthening in the front body. And keep the head and neck neutral, nice soft gaze. One more inhale. And one more exhale. Lower the back knee down and shift the hips back, straightening the front leg, flexing those toes. Bring the hands around the front foot at this point and wiggle that heel forward. All right. Half splits. Drag the right hip back. Engage all the muscles of that leg and toes strongly flex back towards the face. Lengthen the spine. Draw the tops of the shoulders back away from the ears and breathe here. Just letting your attention rest on sensation and the breath and being an observer of your experience. bending into the front knee and shifting forward. We're gonna come into a version of a modified version of side plank, All right? So this front toes, your whole body is gonna to come to face the left side of the mat. So those front toes shift to the left and the back shin kind of comes around as a kickstand and you end up with your right toes in line with your left knee and your left hand down under the left shoulder. All right, right hand stretches up, really press down into the left hand, feel that contact with the hand and the mat, draw the left shoulder blade onto the back and stretch the top arm by the ear. All right, once that arm is over by the ear, press more into the outer edge of that right foot and stretch away with the fingers. Now, as you breathe, really breathe into the top side of the ribs, those right side ribs. And as you exhale, let them relax back down. Lift the top arm towards the ceiling and then release it down and walk yourself back around to the front of the mat. Hands around the front foot, lift the back knee and step forward coming into Malasana squat pose. So the feet can be wide, toes can point slightly out, hips sink low, and the hands come to the heart. All right, elbows and knees making contact, resisting each other, lengthen the spine, breath across the chest. As you inhale, feel the sensation of ribs Expanding and belly relaxing. And then as you exhale, everything draws in towards your center line. Release the fingertips down to the mat, lift the hips, and walk yourself back to downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Step the left foot between the hands. Spin the back heel down. So again, you have front heel to back heel or arch 
alignment. Hand comes inside the front foot. Maybe you use a block. My top hand works straight up towards the ceiling. Big circles with that top arm. Sweep the arm back and down and forward across the face. And moving as much as you can, that shoulder blade around on the back. Next time the arm lifts straight up, switch directions three times. My arm reaches straight up towards the ceiling. Flip the palm so it faces behind you. Glide the back of the hand along the lower back, tucking that elbow in towards the side waist. Maybe the fingers wrap around to the front hip crease. The right shoulder blade draws onto the back, letting the chest rotate open a little bit more. All right, head in line with the rest of the spine and keep the rotation of the head the more comfortable. release the right hand straight up move the block to the outer edge of that front foot and as you inhale work the front leg towards straight and exhale to bend and then inhale straighten and exhale bend and one more time inhale straighten this time hold here in triangle pose Right, maybe the hand is, if you don't have a block, the hand can be somewhere out on the shin. Right, drawing the left hip bone back to lengthen the underside of the torso, especially. Right, arms stacked one on top of the other. And feel your feet on the ground, inner and outer edges, pressing down evenly. Expansive through the crown of the head and through the top fingers. Take one more breath in. And as you exhale, release the hands down. Walk yourself around to the side of the mat. Right. A little different this time. Bring the heels in and the toes slightly out. Bend the knees. See if you can track the knees over the feet as much as possible. And then lift the torso, lift the hands up onto the thighs. Right. So goddess pose, legs. You can use the hands on the thighs to help track the knees over the toes and keep the hips low. All right, inhale here. Nice long spine. As you exhale, bring your left shoulder in towards the midline and gaze over your right shoulder, finding a twist in the upper back. Inhale through center and exhale, twist left. Inhaling center. Exhale, twist right. And inhaling center. And exhale, twist left. Inhale, come back to center. Release your hands down to the mat. Straighten the legs and bring your feet to parallel. Maybe the heels are a little wider than the toes at this point. And same wide-legged forward fold that we took last time. Hands can be on blocks or they can come all the way down to the mat. They can walk back between the feet, right? Relaxing the head and neck, lifting the tops of the shoulders away from the floor. Maybe two, two deep breaths here. Come up halfway, long spine, and walk your hands back around to the front of the mat. Both hands inside the front foot, lizard march. Left foot walks itself over to the outer edge of the mat. So you have space to have both hands down under the shoulders. Lower the back knee, untuck the back toes. Let your hips shift forward and down. Roll to the outer edge of the left foot. Let that knee open up just for now. And you can stay up on the palms of the hands or you can come down 
forearms on a block, maybe all the way to the floor. See if you can lengthen the front body, draw the chest forward, a little hint of a cobra feeling in the chest. And as you breathe, imagine your breath can travel down to the hips, opening space. And as you exhale, see if there's anything that can soften, whether that's in the hips or maybe in the hands, in the neck. Come back up onto the palms of the hands. A roll to the sole of the left foot. Tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee. Different version of lizard lunge. All right, press out through the back heel. Lengthen the chest forward. All right, front knee is now growing in towards the upper arm. One more breath. lower the back knee, shift the hips back, straightening the front leg, bringing the hands now around the front foot, flexing the toes back towards the face. So half split, you might wiggle that front heel forward a few inches, shift the hips back, left hip back, link through the spine. Find the sensation, breathe into it, slow, deep, unforced breaths. Bending into that front knee and walking yourself around to the right side of the mat this time. Those front toes face the right and the back shin comes around as a kickstand, setting up for this modified side plank. So left toes in line with right knee, right hand down under the shoulder, press strongly down, that arm is nice and straight, right shoulder blade on the back. Left arm sweeps up and over by the ear. Once it's over by the ear, focus on that line from the outer edge of the left foot to the fingertips. And as you breathe in, feel the left side ribs, those top ribs now expanding up. And as you exhale, just let them relax. One more breath. Release the top hand down. Walk yourself back around to the front of the mat. Lift the back knee. Step the left or the right foot forward and come back into Malasana squat pose. Now you can stay right here as we did before. Working on length through the spine, hands coming towards the chest, elbows and knees resisting. Or we can move a little with the breath here. All right, so on an inhale, if you'd like to move, extend the right arm down at a low diagonal, arm pressing thigh open, and left arm sweeping up. So you're kind of twisting the torso to the left. Exhale, come back through center, hands at the heart. Inhale, left hand down, right arm up. And exhale through center. One more time each side, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Let your fingertips come down, hips lift. Walk yourself back, down your facing dog. Inhale down the hands and knees. All right, knees are a little back from the hips. Untuck the toes, shift hips and shoulders forward, set up knees down plank, tailbone heavy, engaged belly, strong shoulders, broad chest. Take an inhale here. Exhale, lower down as slow as you can, keeping the tops of the shoulders lifted, elbows hugging in all the way down, lowering in one piece. 
When you get down to the belly, extend the arms forward so the palms are facing each other, legs lengthening long behind. All right. On an inhale, lift the left leg and the right arm. The head can come up as well, but keep the gaze down so you're not leading from the chin, leading from that lift in the chest and the lift in the leg. And exhale to lower. Inhale, opposite leg and arm. So feel the glutes and hamstrings working here. And exhale, lower. Several more times like that. Inhaling, opposite leg, opposite arm. And exhaling. Inhaling to lift. And exhaling down. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhaling. And exhaling. One more time, inhaling. And exhaling. Next time you inhale, both legs, both arms, Shalabhasana, Locust Pose. One more inhale. And exhale, release. Bring the elbows underneath the shoulders for Sphinx Pose. Forearms extend out from the elbows. Nice base, pressing down forearms, wrists, and fingers. All right, press the tops of the feet down, press the pubic bone down, draw the lower belly away from the floor, and then drag the tops of the shoulders back, chest draws forward. Two breaths here. Relax the torso down. Now bring your hands alongside the ribs, setting up for cobra. All right, tops of the shoulders lifting away from the floor, elbows hugging in, press into the hands, lift the head and chest. All right. Ribs wiggle away from hips, shoulders down and back. Only come up as high as you can while maintaining that deep and unforced breath. And you take one more breath in. And exhale, roll your way down. Make a little pillow with the back of your hands. Rest your forehead on the pillow and let your hips kind of wiggle side to side. Your hands alongside the rib cage. Press up to all fours. All right, this time line up your knees right under the hips, line the wrists up right under the shoulders. Stretch back through the ball of the right foot, press a couple times into the heel, and then lift that leg up to hip height. Right. You kind of gaze down and see that both of your hip bones are facing the floor. Pressing strongly out through the right heel, drawing the belly and front ribs up without rounding the back. And then extend the left arm by the ear. And breathe. Now you can stay right here. You could always take a break in child's pose or lift the back toes up towards the ceiling. Reach around with the left hand for the top of that foot. Kick foot into hand and lift the toes up towards the ceiling. One more inhale. And as you exhale to release, see if you can do it slowly and with control back to all fours. Let's take two cat and cows in between sides. Inhale. Move just the pelvis first and lower back, relaxing belly down, and then ripple through the spine. Your back, upper back, chest, neck, head, and exhale to round. Inhale to lift, cow pose, and exhale.
exhale and recap. Come back to neutral and press back through the ball of the left foot, pressing that heel a couple times, and then lift the leg up to hip height. Hip bones facing down, pressing out through the heel. Uh, not sagging the chest down, but kind of lifting front ribs and belly up, keeping the arms straight and strong. Extend the right arm by the ear and breathe. Stay right here, or maybe bring those back toes up towards the ceiling, reach around for the top of that foot, press foot into hand, and lift the toes up towards the ceiling. And take one more inhale. And as you exhale, release with control, back to all fours. On an inhale, sweep the right arm out to the side and up, turn the whole rib cage and chest over to the right. And as you exhale, thread the right arm behind the left. This time we're coming down all the way to the side of the shoulder and side of the face. Deep, smooth inhales, surrendering exhales. Push into the left hand, come back to all fours. Same thing on the other side. Inhale, left arm out and up. And exhale, thread the left hand behind the right. Come down to the side of the shoulder and the side of the face. Press your way back up to all fours. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Expansive ribs, relaxed belly, and deep breath out. Listening to that little whisper of the breath. Inhale, down the hands and knees, step the right foot between the hands. Lift the torso, lift the arms. Bring the arms down to cactus arms, press the forearms back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the chest. And then press into the back foot and lift the back knee. Take one more inhale. And exhale, lower the back knee down really slowly. Bring the hands to the heart. We'll take revolve side angle to the right. So elbow to outside of thigh. If this is too deep a twist for right now, you can bring the left hand down inside the front foot instead. If we're going for revolve side angle, elbow to outside of thigh, hands come into prayer. Forearms stacked one on top of the other. Hands draw towards the chest. Shoulder blades draw onto the back. Maybe the gaze lifts. Right? And maybe back knee lifts. The whole rib cage rotating over to the right. Lower belly drawing in. See if you can keep that breath going even here. Challenging balance. Very deep twist. And take one more inhale and exhale. Unwind with control, hands down around the front foot. Step back, downward facing dog. And take a breath here. Inhale, down to hands and knees. Step the left foot between the hands. Lift the torso, lift the arms. Bring the arms down to cactus arms. Chest lifts, elbows back, shoulder blades draw together. Press into the back foot, lift the back knee. One more inhale. 
Very slowly, lower the back knee back down to the mat. Bring your hands to the heart. Revolved side angle to the left. So left elbow reaches for the outside, sorry, right elbow to outside of left thigh. Hands come into prayer. Prayer hands draw towards the chest. As the chest moves towards the hands, shoulder blades draw together on the back. Find a place where you can breathe. Maybe the back knee lifts. One more inhale. And exhale, release the hands down around the front foot. Step back to downward facing dog. And take a breath here. Deep inhale. And deep exhale, ah, head and neck relax, ah, jaw is relaxed. Even shake out the head. Exhale through the mouth a time or two. All right. On your next inhale, come down to hands and knees and then come to stand up on the shins. Hips stacked over knees. A little activation in the lower belly. Hands come to the lower back. Fingers can either wrap around to the sides or the fingers can face up the back. Elbows draw together, chest lifts. Maybe camel. And keep the gaze wherever it's comfortable. The head can lift, gaze can lift towards the ceiling or the chin can stay tucked in towards the chest here. If you like, bring the hands back to the heels. Slowly bring the hands back to the lower back, lift the torso, untuck the toes, and sit back on the heels. I'll take a moment for observation. And one more round of camel pose, just like that. So lifting up. To stand up on the shins, hips stacked above knees, toes tucked under. Hands start at the lower back, little lower belly activation. Elbows draw together, chest lifts. Maybe the hands come down to the heels if that feels good. Come up nice and slow and sit back on the heels. Let your legs spring around to the front and then roll down onto the back. Bring your feet as wide as the mat and let your knees windshield wiper from side to side. So really soft and floppy. Both knees drop off to the left and then come back through center and both knees drop to the right. And keeping the feet where they are, just letting the thigh bones rotate around in the hip sockets. One more time to each side. Bring the knees back up towards the ceiling and then hug them in towards the chest. Give your knees a little squeeze and rock from side to side. Giving your lower back a little massage. Release the feet to the mat. Cross the left ankle on top of right thigh. Reach for the back of the left thigh or maybe the left or back of the right <laughs> thigh or right shin. Draw it in towards your torso. Bend 
There's a little pull from the arms, but everything else is completely relaxed. Relax your toes, relax uh, the top of the shoulders and neck. Making your eyes kind of soften down into their sockets. Releasing the hands, slide the left knee on top of the right knee. Right, so almost like we're coming into Govukasana cow facing pose legs, but we're on our back. And you can either draw your knees in towards your chest from here, or if you have a little bit more space to slide your hands down towards the shins or ankles, draw the shins or ankles away from each other and towards your torso getting into the outer hips in a slightly different way. Release your grip, unwind your legs. Now cross the right ankle on top of the left thigh and reach for the back of the left thigh or left shin. Slow, steady breath. And keep bringing your focus back to the sensation of the stretch and either the feeling of the breath moving in and out or maybe the sound of the breath. Release the hands, slide your right knee right on top of the left knee and either draw the knees in towards the torso, or if you have a little bit more room, slide the hands down and draw shins or ankles away from each other and towards your torso. Release your grip, unwind the legs. Lengthen the left leg long, keep the leg active. So the thigh is pressing down and the toes are flexed back towards your face. Stretch the right heel up towards the ceiling, take a hold of the back of the right thigh and draw your thigh towards your torso and give a little resistance back with the leg. Relax your shoulders, relax the face. One more deep breath in and deep breath out. And soften the knee, plant the foot, other side. Left knee comes in towards the chest, lengthen the right leg long. Keep it active with the toes flexed. Extend the left heel up towards the ceiling. Take a hold behind the thigh. All right, as you're drawing your leg towards the torso, you're resisting a little back into your hands. Take one more deep breath in here and out. And soften the left foot down to the mat, stretch it out long. Shavasana, a few minutes of rest. So let the legs separate by several inches and the feet relax out to the sides. Arms down by your torso, palms up. Walk your shoulder blades onto the back. Lengthen the back of the neck. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Release it through the mouth. Close the eyes if it's comfortable. Feel now a lot of body parts contacting the ground. See if you can enhance the effects of gravity with your breath. 
every exhale, especially um, an opportunity to feel kind of relaxed, sinking down towards the floor. Releasing that intentionally long and deep breath and just noticing the natural speed and depth. Slowly start to bring a little bit of movement back into your body, wiggling your toes, your fingers. Rocking the head gently from side to side. And plant the feet onto the mat. And draw the knees into the chest. And rolling off to the right. And gently use the support of your hands to help you lift back up to a comfortable seat. Bringing your hands to your heart and closing the eyes. And dropping the chin into the chest, bowing the forehead down towards your fingertips. And with gratitude for this practice and in recognizing our deep connection to each other. We say namaste. And thanks for practicing.